fucking coconut juice. And I think this is sushi. Y'all tag Allison in the comments. And some sushi. Oh, shit. Wifey definition. I've missed your lives. And I can't even go live on TikTok right now. I'm banned for life. Hey man, I need y'all. I need some positivity, y'all. If you're being negative, you're gonna get kicked out the live. You hear me? I just want positive vibes, man. I'm feeling down, I'm feeling low. My TikTok live is banned for life. Basically, I can't go live no more. Yo, what's up, OD? But yeah, I kid you not, man. I almost passed away the other night, guys. I know it's kind of sad, man. You feel me? I'm still coming down. Like, my head hurts like a bitch. My, my chest hurts. Oh, d -huh. I'm glad everything's good with you, bro. I'm glad I see you doing your thing, bro. I'm happy for you. pray yeah y'all pray for me well look y'all on a positive note i got my license i got my license now so i'm hyped when you coming back to i'm in the dmv right now i feel you od huh it's just um i feel stressed out dealing with a lot of shit fool you feel me? A lot of shit done piled up on me. If you want a feature, just DM me. But yeah, what are y'all doing? Y'all feeling down? Y'all feeling bad? What, what kind of shit y'all be doing to cheer y'all up? Dutchy, what's up? Dutchy Dutch, what's poppin'? Uh, it was some sexual nos. It was like, all right, so basically I was on live and I told Allison to sit on my face. We do it for the OnlyFans. That's the only reason. But to be honest, that's kind of lame for them to ban me for that. So I'm going to just keep trying. They haven't gave me this shit. Dutch, pass by. When, you, when you're on your way back, bro, you should pass by here. Let's smoke.
You right. OD, that's some good advice. Think positive. That's some good advice, bro. But yeah, Monday night, I almost passed away. I don't know why I didn't. But I got lucky. I'm in VA right now. Right, Nas. Everybody be talking like that. Odie Hunt, join my live, man. I don't really want to tell you guys how it happened, man. Just know that it almost happened and now I'm hurting. Hot tea and ginger honey will help sickness quick. Yeah, I just, I got a mean headache. My chest hurts. Oh, meow, you heard me that night on live? Yeah, I wasn't even there. I wasn't even like, um. 20 minutes away, 30 minutes. Probably. Yeah, my motherfucking power went out, man. <coughs> Yeah, man, I'm out here in the world. Like, storming and shit. Well, it's not even storming no more. It's not even why, storming. Why is no that more. shit? The whole why that shit always happening? Like, that's not the whole block. It's not the first there's no time like, that's happened. Nothing. Wait, I see something. That that's like a solar light or something though, right there. Yeah, the whole fucking bro. I see you living your life, bro. Turning up, you got a new career. Yeah, I'm trying, bro, but like, like I'm, like I was saying, brother, like I was literally what you going through, nigga. I was depressed about life, bitch. I was broke. I didn't have shit. I didn't have nothing, nigga. I was living like not even check the check, nigga. I was making like fucking fifty dollars or seventy dollars a week. Like it sucked, you know what I'm saying? I was barely making my rent, bro. Like my bitch had left me, like all type of shit, like. It was a whole bunch of shit going on, but, like, I literally was, like, I was depressed for, like, nine months to a year, my nigga, and, and I realized after sitting around just, like, oh, man, this sucks, this happened, this happened, this happened, blah, blah, blah. nothing good gonna come out of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, like, literally no, like, right. people could tell you shit to make you feel better, all that, but the only thing that could save you is you, you know what I'm saying? Turn your life around, start doing better, eating healthy. Think like don't think about that negative shit, man. Like just think about doing better. Like, and it, it don't come overnight. It really don't. Like it might take you a few months or something to start actually getting right and start getting some shit motion. But if you sit around, you won't get nothing done. If you actually start like trying to like work towards something, it sucks having to like work and shit. But like if you actually like you know like want something enough and start like have like a goal for yourself, you can reach it. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got no goal for it, like it's not. Nothing could ever happen. Yeah, man. <clears throat> I guess I just been dealing yeah, with, with a lot of like, bullshit. That's a lot it, of man. shit, like with That's the it. fucking legal system and shit like that too. And that fucking sucks because it's like you have you can only do so much with that shit. I had to go through that process too, and honestly, it didn't work out for me. I, I did two years in uh, two years in jail, fucking around with the people because I couldn't do all that extra shit that they were trying to make me do. Did you get your stuff from outside or no? Are you happy with yeah, it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you have to manifest what you want, bro. Yeah. Like, like yeah, what people sure. saying in the comments, bro. Like how you speak on yourself, it really is like true. Like you could like bring shit. Like if you speak positive shit into your life, like like shit will really come. It's crazy. And if you speak negative about yourself in your life, like negative shit will fucking happen. It's like energy and shit like that bro and it's really true like people not lying when they say that shit like that the type of it your mouth your mouth cast spells you know what i'm saying so if you speak it if you speak it negative yeah, on yourself facts. nigga, like it's like you, you'll bring that shit into your life my nigga and it's crazy how like to say it like that because people be like oh yeah you just saying bullshit but it's true it's true hell yeah my dude <clears throat> But yeah, I'm proud of getting my license. Yeah, look, bro. you, you got start, your uh, right, fucking course, Uber man. eating somewhere small. Yeah, I got my, I got my license. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's a good step. 
Got my license, y'all. Uh, you gotta get the whip now. You can start make. Once you get the whip, you start making money in the whip. You might have to start off with a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Something cheap, something small, to just move from point A to B. But as long as you get I'm something, a new car can... He can. He can drive over. Adam, Adam Effect, what's up, Adam? I love you, bro. Manifesting is real. Hey, how long your life? Like been twenty off? minutes. <laughs> Can't turn nothing on, man. Damn. Damn. I don't. How I mean, yeah, this thing we usually have, but it's just like a little storm power outage or something like that. When did you start feeling down? I've been feeling you down. You gotta get through it. Even whenever you're with yeah. me? Yeah. Even whenever you're well, with baby. me? Nah, I was feeling bad when I was with you. I've just been feeling you think lower that ever since, since I got you home. You left me, like we split our ways, you've been down? Yeah, I've been pretty sad. That's it. Just everything sinking in, like all the bullshit going on, it's just fucking. Like, like OD, huh? I, I don't, bro. I don't owe. I paid so many. We paid so many legal fees, bro, and I still owe so many legal fees. And like, I might have time on my head. Oh, I don't know how it is, bro. Me. It's like. They offered me, bro, for a phone call threat, OD, they offered me 16 months. So you bro, still got a court date like to go that. to and shit? Yeah, bro. For 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 a threat, they talking court. about six you, you months. That don't sound right, huh? You just do the trial thing. You, got, you can counter. Got a you have a good lawyer. Yeah. I mean, I gotta pay. Lawyer, you gotta pay lawyer, lawyer to do his thing. Like, is it something like they got proof of that you've done or some shit like that? It's just like, like some fucking like like threats, bro, over the phone. It ain't a big. It, it's a big deal, but it isn't. It's a, it's not I something to send you to prison for. Like, you could take I classes. I really think that you probation. could counter sue for all like the time wasted, jail time, money spent on bonds, all that. You can literally counter sue her because you literally have proof of her trying to hit you up after the fact. Like, you can counter sue. Her. You can get a lot of money from her. <laughs> Yeah, you look you could depending on the situation. I just wanna be I just wanna be free, man. I don't wanna be stressed no, so I don't wanna be kind of screwing nobody. I don't wish I don't wish jail on nobody. Yeah, no, that's just me personally, I <coughs> OD Hunt, so when you did your yeah, time, bro, you just sat six down years, and did I your time. Two off that. The only reason why I got out, I was supposed to do like three and a half, but I got out early because all the laws changed because really my shit was all off like we charges and shit like that. Yeah, no way. Was it we charged, really? Money. I was moving weight. That's, that's it. it. That's what I'm saying. Damn. Like niggas be fighting different charges, nigga. People was telling me, "Nah, nigga, you good. You ain't gonna do no time." Yeah, bitch, I did time, bitch. But I was on probation. I was on probation, and I caught another charge. That's why I went to jail. Usually, if you're on probation and then you catch another felony, they'll be like, "All right, bitch, we'll sit your ass down because you tripping." Like, I remember like, OD would sit on Six Heart Live eating the most vile fucking shit, fucking hot Cheeto ramen, oh, nasty so ass jail food. I was like, "Ew." That's just so good. Come here, get your ass up here. Come here. It was Wait, like a was, year ago. Nigga, yeah. I love, I love for good. Live like a year ago, just eating fucking ramen, hot Cheetos together. I was like, in bread, in bread. He was putting that shit in bread. I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> nigga? I, damn, what the so fuck, OG? Like why you was eating? Ago, I buy shit just to make hookups at my house, like all the time. Nigga. Like, I love. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, bro. Like I, I, I buy some noodles. I buy some cheese. Some you be shit, having a hookup in your some, house. You know what I'm saying? I buy some shit, some hot Cheetos and shit. Like yeah, nigga, I, I buy some tortillas, all type of shit. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, bro. Like people can talk all they want, but jail jailhouse food is different, man. That shit good. Yeah. It depends on. on how you hook it up, though. Cause you you be so hungry. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like nigga, we made all type of shit when I was locked up. Nigga, that shit was fire. It, it, it's like it's nostalgic, like cause it's like I know jail's a bad time, but like. Food in your commissary is like the only thing you look forward to and shit in that bit. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, bro, bro. That's the that's the only thing I would get so happy, bro. I'd be like, damn, it's commissary day coming. That's, that's what I'm saying. So to. like, that's like the, the nostalgic you part of it that makes me feel good. About it. I'm like, man, yeah, this was the good part of jail, nigga. Like, 
Yeah, I'm eating what the watermelon right now. Hey, all I had today was fruit. Man, we was in the middle of cooking and the power went off. Now we just ordered some Mexican food. I want Mexican food. Damn, that's the worst. But the fucking power's off, nigga. This sucks, bro. I want Sorry. a pupusa. Damn, I can't even see what I'm kicking. I Not you don't oh, got like lights, emergency like, lights. I don't got nothing. I can't really even I want a see right now. Torta. I'm looking. I'm I want looking a torta to see if I got some extra avocado. Yeah, babe, I'm gonna have to go get some lights or some shit like that to like. Why'd your power go off? Is it raining? Yeah, it was raining earlier. It's been like this dark, muggy ass, like cold, windy shit all day. And I think one of the transformers out here. I just got a notification on my ring yet. It was like. Uh, energy so there's been power outages in the area. Ooh. I mean, cause I don't pay my bill, y'all. Yeah, fun. That's for sure. Guys, I was in jail in Virginia, Touch. and my new my my the charge that I'm talking about is okay. In guys, do you two think things. that he's like slow for not wanting to go to trial and counter two? I mean, the whole thing is it depends on the situation. Like, me personally, if somebody put me in jail for threatening, because I threat a lot, like, I'm, I'm a type of bitch who always throw threats at people, I'd be pissed as fuck. And then, on top of that, they try and talk to me yeah. after, and hang out with me after, uh-uh, it's raps. Like, I will counter suit, and I'm gonna get my coin. I was like, I'll, I'll, let, I'll put that bitch in jail if I was you. Dude, safe drop was soon, man. I would feel... Um, I'm oh, VM, him. yeah, I meant to talk to you, bro. Did you talk to your brother? Because I talked to him the other day. You did? He like, what did he tell you? He hit me up off your account. And then, Right, yeah. And then, like, he, he gave me a number. Do you have a number to talk to him off of? Yeah, bro. He just, he's kind of, like, just doing his own thing. He told me that. Basically, he just don't oh. like being at the crib because oh, yeah. my I parents feel, are hard I on told his ass. Him, like, I was like, bro, they don't let like, him go I, out. I was like, I was, it was good to see you doing good, and I'm good and all that shit, bro. You gotta get back to it, bro. I hate to see you doing bad, you know, down and bad. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you was doing real good. I want to see you get back to it. He's like, yeah, man, let me get back to it. But he asked me for like twenty dollars for some food. No, oh, I mean, yeah. He asked me oh, for twenty dollars to get home, bread? and I, and I, when he said that, I was like, I got you. But then he hit me up like the next day or the day after that and asked me for twenty dollars again. I was like, nah, bro. I can't Bro, he's been he's been telling everyone that he needs money to get home. Yeah, like, well, that's so that's why I was like, I'll do it once, bro. But after that, I already know what it is. So you I'm just not pay for his next perk. Damn, that's crazy. He was about to say. No, the second one, I, I was just heart. like, I can't do it. I just told him right away, like, nah, I'm not fucking with it. Like, bro, I got he, it, bro. But I'm not, about, I'm not about to. I'm not about to <laughs> fix your habit. He was like, I just need. He was like, I'm trying to get some food. I was like, uh. Can't do it, bro. He was like, it's all good. I'll just find some food at the crib. No, he'd be like, oh, I need 20 to get home, 20 to get home, and then never goes home. Like, he tried asking me for money. He sent Apple Pay from my man's phone to him. He's fiend out. And yeah, whenever nah, I was in did, Virginia, bro, I him, whenever bro. I was he visiting Romeo while shit. he was in jail, he made me bring him McDonald's back home. He was like, I'm so starving. I ain't no money. I felt bad. I mean, I don't mind. Giving like getting you food if like I'm giving you food but like giving you money to uh, support your habit I can't do that. Now nah, facts, bro. Like I really pray for him, bro. I hope he gets better. He tell me, but you, I mean, you could only do that. so much. You could, you could tell him, you could pray for him, you could do all that. But at, at the end of the day, man, gonna do whatever he want to do, type shit. Exactly. Now, nah, of course, he grown. My parents be stressing about it too, nah, bro. bro like, he was doing to go good, bro. He was posting himself working they be going out. and skating a lot and posting like good food. He was, he was eating going shit all the time. To and, and the Frenchie, Frenchies and shit like that. He was posting them all the time. And I don't know. He was like, he was just saying how he was like three months clean or something like that and shit like that. He was going to church a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, he was. He was that's getting better, bro. That's the scariest part about people <coughs> recovering off of stuff, and that's why, like, I always get scared about you, is that majority of people who become clean for even over 90 days, like, majority of them always go back to it, and that's, like, the most scariest part of it. Like, that's, like, it's bound to happen for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, all the progress just a goes relapse. down the drain, and that's why, like, I'm... <laughs> like, 
I know you're very depressed and sad right now, and that's like one thing where I don't want you to go to whenever you're sad. Yeah, them drugs ain't gonna fix it. The drugs gonna make it worse. Swear mm -hmm. to God. Like I really don't want you going back to that at all. That's the last thing I want. Like there's all, all there's money can be remade. You know, like there's no reason to be sit there all sick and sad. You've started at zero before, and look where you got I'm before. Twenty nine. It's okay to restart a couple times. That's the whole point of life. You know, you ever played Monopoly whenever everyone steals your fucking money? You restart and you re fucking build. Yep. Does it, it doesn't take overnight to rebuild, but it's possible. I've done it multiple times. I've started from zero in my bank account so many times. Like just this past month, I didn't have a lot of money and I'm already halfway to where I was to begin with. So you just you gotta, gotta work hard. Do is focus, put your mind to it. Don't let nobody get in your way. Sometimes, bro, you just gotta. You gotta disappear for a few months, you right? Gotta like that's really what it is. You gotta rebuild. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> like what you blow. was when you was there. When you come back and everybody sees you, they be like, "Damn, what the fuck you was doing?" Be like, I was working on myself. You know what I mean? Sometimes everybody don't need to see what you're going through and all that shit. You just gotta go through your emotions and get out life that shit. A big game, you know, life is a big game. Like that Monopoly I brought up, Jenga. You know, whenever you take little fucking blocks out and it all falls over, you gotta rebuild that shit. It's normal. And it's okay not yeah. to not be okay, but don't resort to things that could take your life because it's not worth it. A temporary solution is not worth a permanent problem, you know? Like, it's just not worth it. Yeah, I mean, and you got somebody on your side, bro. A lot of people don't have anybody to talk to, go to, don't have supporters on the internet, don't have nothing like that. So you got something, and I, you know what I'm saying, that people I've don't been have. Here for you. Uh, I've been here for you since the day I met you. And I've always stand ten toes down for you, and you know that. And I'm to never, never go anywhere. So, with that being I said, you gotta that. focus on yourself. You ain't gotta worry about going find no bitch or nothing like that, and being depressed about not having that. You got that squared away. And you know what I'm saying? She, at least you know, if you go through anything, you could fall back on her, and y'all. But she should be able to do the same thing with you. So that means you gotta get yourself together, get your shit together, so y'all can do it together. Yeah, all these legal fees have just drained me, bro. Oh, the, the uh, legal no. fees have drained me, my nigga. Like my energy in my pockets, my energy in my pockets, and it just feel like it's been a minute. Yeah, that that be that go slows it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When I was going through legal shit, I woke up every day like fuck, nigga. Like that's the first thing I think about, and it's like it's annoying, but it's like you can't do nothing but go through the shit. You heard me, like, and that's. Yeah, bro, I'll be waking up, and I got a fat monitor on my leg. I'm like, oh, shit. It just remind me that like, there's time on my head. I got old bands. Like, niggas won my head. And you just got to – also, bro, you got to surround yourself, like, with people that, like, you can't – like, that's not going to put you in positions like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to put yourself in good predicaments, like, and surround yourself with people who – where you would never have to do anything to them or would worry about fucking motherfuckers back doing and – and all this extra shit, you know what I'm saying? Really, you just need to surround yourself with like, yeah. people who you feel like is doing better than you because you wouldn't want people to chill around bumps. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, this shit's spinning. You are what you hang around.